Nah, we're going to the range. See what I'm saying? Yeah. What's going on? Pete Jr. Yeah, <laughs> again. What do you got on? Do you look like Evil Knievel and Elvis? <laughs> Had a friggin' love child. There ain't nothing wrong with this. Alright, typical That's city cool. boy. We're gonna go shoot the uh, 6 Sour M11A1. And my Glock 26 I just got. Hopefully I'll shoot good. Just wanna show these people that uh, a lot of people think of 3 inch barrels and little guns ain't accurate or they're hard to shoot accurate with. No, nope, not with the Glock 26 or a Glock 27. You can shoot very accurate with those little guns. <clears throat> well, we just have ribs. Yeah. They weren't that good. Sorry. No, they weren't. They were tender, but no flavor. And they made the ribs. They didn't marinate them. All they do is th they threw barbecue sauce on them. You're supposed to friggin' caramelize that shit. So, uh, that was a waste of money. Well, because I'm not hungry anymore. And they're only $10. How do, you feel, how do you feel about fat women, like, if they have a pretty face? I like fat women. No, really, seriously. I'm serious. I don't mind fat women. Yeah, but their crack always smells like poo. Well, I can't No matter how much they shower, always smells like poo. Not great, but not too bad. What? Just started. Keep my ugly face. Out. We got nine rounds there. Let's fill it up. Let's put ten rounds in. Using Winchester white shit. Winchester white box and uh, full magazine. Here's a baby Glock, three inch barrel. Shoots just as good as a full. That's what's cool about these little Glocks. Now, I don't know if other brand guns that can shoot like that, but I know these little Glocks are notorious for being just as accurate as a full size Glock. There's the proof. All right, we got Pete with the uh, M11A1 six hour. And uh, he hasn't shot in a long time, so let's see what he can do. Okay, let's see. Trying to make me look bad or something? Why? You think you're cool, don't you? <laughs> uh, we got Pete shooting the Glock 26 now. He was shooting the 6 Sour M11A1. And you guys knew what happened to that gun in the beginning. I was having problems with it. But that 6 Sour uh, M11A1 is running perfect. That's zero failures. It's, it's, it's all good now. I like it. All right. I you, do you, like need a, you need a new pair of sunglasses. How you like so. the Glock 26? Nah, a lot different than the 6 Hour, right? I uh, I kind of prefer the way this feels when it. Well, uh, it's a little I, gun. It's I like to the carry. recoil. I like the way it feels when it goes off. Yeah, you're like at 10 yards, so that's a pretty good target. That's not your tar your groups are tightening up. I can see them. So you're doing better. 
Yeah, I just picked up the Glock 26. Shooting with the champ. Checking the shells good, all the same. Can't hear what the fuck I'm saying. Very good. That looks good. Bring it up. Don't stand it. That's pretty good. And hey, they're all in. Yep. This one's almost out. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna shoot these last few rounds through my SIG. So you can take over the camera. Ready? Yep. That red spot is gone. Almost. A little bit here. I was trying That's to get nice. it out, but I'll tell you. Just ah. to go to show you how good that six hour shoots, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, zero failures, very reliable, very accurate. Another uh, good session with the SIG and the Glock, both of them zero failures.